Okay, hello guys, this is a um, tutorial on customising Firefox. Um, when you first download Firefox, you'll um, get something that looks like this at the top, this toolbar. Okay. Um, some people just keep this, um, but people who are into sort of customising their, their uh, system in general, their machine in general, um, like to customise this. Make it look slightly different. So the first thing to do is to go to Tools, go to Add-ons, um, and choose a theme. Now I use two themes. I I sort of switch between two. I use Aquium Black Gloss, um, and I also use Ruler Dark. Ruler Dark is what I'm using at the moment. Um, to get themes, you can just go to Get Add-ons and you can type say black theme or something like that into there or red theme and it will give you the options um, but you can also go to the Firefox website and look for those as well so anyway back to themes. so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, switch to ruler dark which is the one I'm using so I'm going to go use theme and then it will prompt me to restart Firefox I'm going to restart Firefox so it'll take a couple of seconds to come back eventually here we go. Right, so now I've got Ruler really Dark. So you see the buttons have changed. It, it's it's black and and looks quite cool. But we can make it look even better. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this bookmarks toolbar because you can already access your bookmarks from um, these submenus up here. Okay. So I'm going to right click on the top bar. Oops and go to bookmarks toolbar, you see where it's checked, I'm going to click that and it will go away. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, this is still a bit wide for me, um, I like my toolbars to be really thin and, and so, so that I can utilise the most space um, when it comes to viewing web pages, I can use the whole screen to actually view the web page and not have you know, some of the screens taken up by a toolbar. So I'm going to right click again and go to customise. So customize it gives you this this whole window of things that you can add. So you've got separators, flexible space, and blah 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 blah, different buttons you can add. Um, but as soon as you open this dialog, you can start dragging things around. So what I'm going to do is start dragging things around here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the address bar here and put it up here, and then I'm going to start dragging up the buttons, okay, I'm dragging this onto the top toolbar, this is the only toolbar that you can't get rid of so I drag the buttons up here I'm going to stick my weapon on this part at the end and leave weapon just there because I don't actually want that um, certain things you can drag back into the customize box and it will get rid of them um, you can't actually do that with weapon trust but I'll be getting rid of this toolbar anyway um, now you can see here that I've got my buttons here and I've got the um, sub-menus here. Now I would like my address bar to be in the middle, so I'm going to get the address bar and drag it this way. So you see now I have um, this look going on. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do is get my web bar notifier and drag it here. And there you can see. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. So now the toolbar is still the same size. That's because there is a, another toolbar being shown here, which you can see the little web trust icon is on. So if I right click and you see navigation toolbar is checked. So if I uncheck this, it will get rid of it. Um, and you have a nice looking slim toolbar at the top. Now the last thing we're going to do is take the camera down here. You can see at the bottom here, um, you can add your own toolbars if you want as well. Uh, and put buttons into them and things like that. Uh, but you see here I've got use small icons. Now on this particular theme that won't do much but uh, what it will do is uh, it will make my webmail notify icon smaller. So I'm going to go use small icons like that. Okay, if we go back up, you can see 
that my web, no, web mail notifier button is a lot smaller. Okay. So once you've done that, we're just going to click done, and there you go. It's ready to use. Uh, you've got a nice slim navigation uh, toolbar. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.